Hey, T here, and in today's math lesson, we will be answering the questions, what are percents, and how do we solve and use them? To start off, let's answer the question about what even are percents in the first place. Well, the easiest way to explain is that percents are part of a number or a piece of a number. Percents can also be compared to fractions as they are very similar because percents and fractions are both used to describe part of a number or thing. For example, 50% of 2 is 1 because 50% basically translates to 1 half of something. Or instead of fractions, you can use them in decimal form as well. So, 50% would be 0.5 or 100% would just be 1. You can also think about it like whenever you see a percent, take the percent number and move a decimal point two times to the left, and if it's already a percent that is a decimal, just move in two as well, and multiply your number by the decimal you just made. For example, 54% would be 0.54 and 7% would be 0.07. 6.25 would be 0.0625. This works with 100% is equal to a whole. So if you're working with the number 100, 100% 100 of 100 would be the whole number, so it would be 100. But now let's say that you're working with a really long problem that has a bunch of different steps that you can solve, but you're stuck on the part with the percents. So let's look at an example of a word problem first to help give you a better understanding of the percents. Mr. Bob is going out for dinner. He decided to get a really large meal because he's hungry. He ends up buying two chicken sandwiches for $2.50 each, with a large drink for $3.50 and three ice creams for $10.35. What will be the total with a 35% discount on the total price with a 20% tip and a 6.25% tax? Well, to start, let's reread the key parts of the problem. We can ignore the first two sentences and focus on the other parts as that's what we're trying to solve. We know that we have to add $2.50 with the other $2.50 or we can just multiply the $2.50 by two to get the total for the sandwiches, which is $5. Now we have to add up with the other prices since we already have the whole answer for them instead of having to add or multiply. After we add $5 with $10.35 and $3.50, we get $18.85. So now we will try to find the discount which would be $18.85 minus $18.85 multiplied by 0.35. Or you can do $18.85 multiplied by 0.65 because you can just subtract the 35% to the 100% slash the whole that we already had. This now leaves us with $12.25. Now let us move on to the tips and the equation for that is $12.25 plus $12.25 multiplied by 0.20. Or you can do $12.25 multiplied by 1.2 but we can just add that 20% to the 100% that we already had. This will give us $14.70. So now that we know what the tip and the total price is added together, let's find the tax. We will just repeat the process again. $14.70 plus $14.70 multiplied by 0 0.0625 or 14.70 multiplied by 1.065 and that will give us $15.62 which is the total for the whole meal for Mr. Bob. Hopefully this helped you better understand how to use percents and some simple ways on how to solve problems with percents. Thank you for watching my math lesson and I hope you have a great day.